Hey everybody, it's Sunday afternoon. Um, yeah, so I forgot to film this morning. <laughs> I was chatting with some people about collaborations for next year here for YouTube and also on Facebook and working on a few random things here and there um, and just sitting around kind of relaxing today. That's not what we planned on doing for today, but that's okay. We are puppy sitting. If you're watching uh, this clip, you've already seen that clip. Um, and so Lily is here. She's been a lot of fun, but um, yeah, it's just a quiet day at home. Laundry, dishes, TV, you know, the usual. All right, I'll be back. What are we cooking, Fred? Uh, we're gonna make eggnog. Fred's making eggnog. You're too sober to cook. I know, I don't have a drink in my hand. I, I need know. a drink. So we're making uh, eggnog, homemade eggnog. Uh, it is Bob's, or I'm sorry, Fred's family recipe. Fred's family recipe. We will include it in the description below. We are gonna put a disclaimer right here, and right now. Don't do this um, at home. No, it, do it with caution. So traditionally, Bob's family made this recipe for a long time with raw eggs, and unpasteurized raw eggs, and um, I, we don't really recommend that. You could get very sick and give someone salmonella. They do make eggs pasteurized in the shell. We do recommend that you use those. We are not responsible for anyone getting ill. <laughs> so that's that. That's that. Anyway, we'll be back. So in the old days, you used to have to beat the egg yolks, what, a hundred times? hundred times. Today we use the food processor, much, much easier. Again, you want pasteurized in the shell eggs, people. Let's not make anybody sick this holiday season if we can help it. Here he's got the water with the regular granulated sugar dissolved in it. That he's gonna be adding. For beating, he's adding vanilla sugar. 10 packets. 10, Ten packets. These. You gotta use the Oatger brand vanilla sugar. Yeah, this stuff here. Yeah, you can get it at World Market. Uh, the Russian stores or yeah, Eastern European stores usually have it or Amazon. There you go. We're going to need some vodka, 80 proof or better, and some vanilla extract, right? Uh, this stuff. Uh, yeah, but also the liquid vanilla, right? No. Yeah, I take it back. No vanilla extract, just vanilla sugar, rum, and eggs. And make sure you have a drink while you're doing it. Oh, yeah. See, Fred's drinking. So see? he's not sober while he's cooking. So this is the eggs beaten up with the uh, sugar <coughs> and we've been beating this up for now for about 25-30 minutes because um, we do uh, two minutes on low for each packet and there's 10 packets so that's... Is this supposed to be 100 beats per 100 packet? Beats. Yeah. Which per is packet, about, right? Per and packet is 100 packets, beats. So, 1, so what we do is we put the uh, timer on for two minutes every time we put a packet in. So at two minutes times 10, that's 20 minutes. What's Plus, you know, some time in between, you know, while you're doing it. What's the speed on the mixer? It's on the low speed, low. low speed. So this was nice and thick. And then I added the sugar water, which is one cup of, sh of water and three quarters cup of sugar. So now you can see this is really nice. So I'm gonna pour this into a bowl with my four cups of vodka, four cups. Four, what is not that? three, not proof? two, yeah. four. It's 80 proof vodka, 80 proof way. vodka. You can use 80 proof or better. I think my dad uses 100 proof when you he makes it. So when my great aunt made this back in the old country, she used 100 proof vodka. 100 proof, four cups. And this. Old country, he means Germany. Well, you know, back in the, well, the Deutschland. Yeah, yeah, that place. So Fred's gonna mix all of these two ingredients into this bowl, and then I'm going to pour it into one of these. Well, you have to strain all the a, goobers with out. With one of you? these guys, and a strainer, because we want the goobers You know, the, out. E the egg goobers. There's egg goobers. egg goobers, so you gotta That's get right. the egg goobers out. You gotta get any egg goobers out. And I don't know what a goober is. It's, you can look it up in Wikipedia on what a goober is. And if you have any questions on what a goober is, don't talk to me. Don't. I don't want any questions or no comments to the post. And, and can you tell he's on his second cocktail? No, he's very care. talky. I don't care. <laughs> he's very talky. Okay. Anyway, so eggnog. I'll show you when it's all done. I just poured in the four 
cups of uh, vodka into the mixture and you can see that there's a little bit of foam on top but that's okay just let, mix it all together so you have a good consistency everything's all mixed up and we'll go ahead and ladle it into the uh, glass into the uh, bottle bottle because we don't want any goobers There you go. And once we fill up a bottle, this fills up maybe about a bottle and a third. This is why I have two bottles out. And then once this is done, you want to, once you had all everything in the bottles, you want to put it in the fridge and let it sit for at least 24 hours. Let it chill, let it ferment, ferment let it uh, thicken a little bit. And um, I've even put this in the freezer for a little bit because of the 100, excuse me, for the, because of the 80 proof vodka, it doesn't freeze. All right, here's one bottle. I like to use these uh, bottles with the caps on it, these reusable caps. When you're done, you can rinse them out, wash them out and everything like that and reuse them again and again and again. So I'm going to keep everything good and clean. See? Look at that. Actually, it's about a bottle and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse out the bottle, rinse the outside, make sure it's nice and clean, stick them in the um, refrigerator, and then uh, tomorrow I'm going to enjoy some good eggnog. Bye -bye. You know, it's so funny for years, Fred here has had me do the navigating while he dr he's driving, and then he gets annoyed when we go on little adventures. I think he's forgotten over the years that I don't know where I'm going. GPS doesn't really help. Anyway, happy Monday, December 17th. Ha! <laughs> it's after 5 p.m. in the evening and we're out running errands. And anyway, hope you've had a good one. Yeah, it's raining. It's Portland. What are you going to do? Hi, everybody. It is, t what day is it? Tuesday? Tuesday. It's Tuesday, it is. December 18th. 18th. It's 4.14 p.m. and as you can see, don't get excited. Turn left onto US 26. East. And Watch out. Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Thanks, Chiefs. And the car clock is right there. And it says actually the correct time, so. Anyway, we just went to a place that um, Rebecca and Jenny recommended, Mint Lounge. Uh, the girl's name is Cassandra to get my hair cut. Mm -hmm. And eventually she's gonna start helping me with the color. I have to let it grow out a little bit, so you're all going to have to live with white-rooted me for uh, a while. Um, <laughs> Fred's going to have to live with it, too. Um, anyway, now we're on our way to Fred Meyer to get some groceries and... Uh, yeah, Estimated time in traffic, seven minutes. Um, to get some groceries and maybe pick up some boxes and more wrapping paper. And, you know, it is Christmas time after all. Maybe I can sneak, sneak a couple of stocking stuffers for Fred into the cart when he's not looking. Doubt it. Probably not, but I'll try. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. <laughs> it's Wednesday morning, December 19th, I think. I think. Um, I don't know what time it is. It's, it's morning that I know. Let's see. Let's see if the clock will tell me. 11.04. So almost lunchtime. Anyway, we are... Just being lazy this morning. I'm still in my pajamas. I got a bunch of postings done today that I needed to do. And the vlog loaded this morning because I forgot to do it last night before I turned off my computer. Um, anyway, I'm going to finally take a shower and get dressed. And then we have to pack because we're going to be in California for four days visiting with family and running a bunch of errands that we didn't... Stuff we need to do that we didn't do before we moved, like clean out my husband's desk at his um, old uh, work site in California. So, and paperwork stuff and closing out the P.O. box and like all stuff like that. So, anyway, um, and I'm comfortable telling you all this because number one, I have my dad watching the house and, and Lily and yeah, I wouldn't piss my dad off because he's, he's got a concealed carry, so, you know, I'm not worried. Um, <laughs> plus by the time y'all see this, I'll be back. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so we're going to just stay home. We're going to pack. 
Um, we're going to finish laundry, clean the house, um, finish wrapping Christmas gifts, and um, we have a bunch of deliveries, <clears throat> excuse me, coming today. Uh, things that will, again, need to be uh, wrapped. And while we're gone, there's deliveries coming, so I'm going to have my dad um, uh, get all those things for us and collect them, and he can just, like, put them in the library or bring them upstairs or something. Um, I think that's it for the moment. I need to make the bed, and I need to take a shower. All right, I'll be back. There we are. Finally, we got all lit up for Christmas. It's the best we could do. <laughs> but I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? We have a little Christmas tree in the front with balls on it and uh, some yeah. presents. Yeah. I think it looks good. Merry well, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, once the um, uh, landscape lights come on, it'll look even nicer. It will. Very cool. Now my dad needs to get here so we can have barbecue. Some brisket. Because that's a thing. Brisket mm -hmm. and some uh, and uh, some ribs. Yeah. Temporarily back in sunny California, only it's not so sunny. It's very cloudy. It's very foggy. We're in San Francisco. We're headed actually to the dentist. Uh, my uncle and his sons are all dentists and I've never been to anywhere else. So I, I don't have time for to look for a new dentist in Oregon. So while we're here, we're making a quick stop over there to get our teeth cleaned. And then we're going to go to Daiso and then we're gonna go um, to my aunts for dinner and start the round of visiting family for the holidays. So that's right. That's about it. Okay. That's, yeah, that's it. That's we'll it. be back. December 21st. 21st? Yeah, something like that. I knew that. Um, and it's just before 11 o'clock. We're headed to the old house and we're going to do a stalker drive by. Drop off the keys to the. <laughs> drop, drop off the keys to our old PO box, PO close box. it out, and um, then meet some friends for lunch. So yeah. we'll be back. We'll be back. Box is all closed out. They yep. don't have to do it. Uh, my cousin doesn't have to forward the mail anymore. They're going to do it for us. And now we are going to go stock the old house. Check so old house. why don't yep. you come with us? We'll see if they've changed anything outside.
like you saw in the previous clip, it looks like absolutely nothing has changed at the old house. They it's haven't, exactly at least same. from the outside, it looks exactly the same as when we left. Yep. The flower pots are in the same spot. The old beware of dog signs still on the gate. Garbage pails are the same. Yep. They haven't changed uh, a thing. The uh, flowers, the bushes, the trees, everything's All, exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. Nothing has changed. Nope. So anyway. Um, I'm going to head off to see a friend of ours. For lunch. For lunch. And then I'm going to run some more errands. we got to clean out his old desk at his old office. So it's a thing. It's a thing. We'll be back. Okay, guys. So we are at my husband's old cube. He still works for the same company, but he it works at a different location now. But we're back in the California Bay Area to clear out his old cube. And I can't film anything in the office because, you know, proprietary information and all that. But look at what they have hanging on the wall. I love that. So true. Good morning. I'm going to do this quick before anybody gets home. I am in Sacramento, California. I'm at my mother-in-law's house. Everybody's out. She had to go get her hair done. The husband got dragged off with his brother for breakfast. No, I wasn't invited. Let's not get started. Anyway, I am here in the quiet and I'm doing some sketching and catching up on my prompts that I didn't get to do while we were physically traveling, driving in the car, flying in the plane. Um, <clears throat> I got some done, but I didn't get everything done, so I'm catching up this morning, and, um, I have no idea what we're doing today. And no, no clue. So, yeah, I'll let you know. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we go to the mall, because the mall up here has Daiso, and I'd like to hit one more Daiso before we leave, but that's probably not going to happen. So, I can hope. I'll be back.
Hi guys. So as you can see, I'm here with Lily because we made it all the way home and I forgot to film an ending again. It's just going to be one of those holiday seasons where I'm not going to ever remember. Anyway, uh, as you can see, we're visiting fa family and friends in California and we're having a good time and I hope that you all t are too. I hope that you're having a happy holiday season and you have a great New Year's. We will see you next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.